dropped some knives off this morning. Loaded my van up for tomorrow morning. Now I've been messing around with the uh, minna. I mounted some uh, PVC. This one's firm. Put my little hook in there. This one's, I may put my net in there. I may move, this one's loose. This one can come off. This one can come off too, but you gotta loosen it up with a wrench. I, uh, let's see, what else did I do? I got this cast, what do you call it? A galvanized flange in this pipe to hold the uh, umbrella in. I may move it inboard a little bit more. And I may lower it. I cut a foot off of it. This is the one I used to use on my sharpening table before I had a tent. But I, well, I can stand up right now and not touch the top of it. But I may want it a little lower. But I got to play with that. Just like I got to play with these things. I'm going to put the landing net in one of them and leave this in the other one. Or I may just put the landing net in this one, take this one off and put the landing net, I mean, put this under the seat some kind of way with a Velcro snap. I haven't decided. Other than that, the only thing I got to do is uh, wire the uh, fish finder up. I mean, it's already wired up. I've been testing it, but I got to put an inline fuse, and it came with a three amp inline fuse. I got to wire that in. And I may, uh, depending on the weather, I had planned on going today, but as you see, it's beautiful right through here, and they got thunder clouds scattered for all the afternoon. When, when my uh, planned voyage was. I don't know how that's going to work out. I got a piece of horse, uh, horse stall matting right here. I can put it under the motor when I'm traveling. Other than that, I'm about ready to go. Okay, I get back to you. Right here. In the middle of the seat, kind of like. And not that umbrella through that hole. But then I had to come up with something to fasten it on the bottom. And I don't want to drill any holes on the bottom if I can help it. So I said, what the hell? I'll try this rig right here. I can move it in and out with no problem. I only have four little holes to worry with. We'll see how that works. If anybody's got any comments, shout them out. I'll get back to you. My job is to cut all the boxes up since I have sharp knives. <laughs> Hi, Indians. What y'all doing over there in air condition? Big old Jack, you were right in front of it. You like it? Jack likes that air condition, boy. Look at it. Mm, he likes figs, too. Well, the cabinets, I think I showed you the other day, are all in, finally. And the knobs are all in. And the pulls came in today for the drawers. And these bunch of drawers here. And the guy put the sink in today. Cast iron farmer's sink, they call it, I think, or I think that's what it's called, a farmer's sink. It said uh, weighs, I don't know, 200 pounds, I guess. They had to put all kinds of supports in to hold it. Guy came by and measured for all the uh, countertops today. Quartz, of course, I think she's putting quartz in here. I can't remember. She's looked at so much damn tops and stuff. But I'm pretty sure it's quartz. But I'll ask and find out. Put the front on that. Got a drawer going down there. Microwave's going in here and that oven, little oven thing she got going right here. They got to cut a hole in the floor for the drink, for the air vent, for the stove. And the floor guy's coming, I think the floor guy's coming in six, five or six days to sand the floors and get them all equal, equal in color. And we got to move all this into this already crowded room. 
hide. I need a room stretcher. What do you think, boo-boo? Why are you taking it easy? You're a big boo-boo. And there's an Indian, the little princess is up there above you with her leopard tiger skin, whatever it is. What's her name? Okay.